So you may have heard of this gaming developer called Bosky Productions and Bosky Productions actually has one very talented developer on their development team right now. If you know anything about video games and you may know who Cliff Blazinski is, if you don't know who Cliff Blazinski is, Cliff Blazinski was actually a big developer at Epic Games. And if you don't know what Epic Games is, Epic Games is also a game developer that made the highly successful Gears of War series back on the Xbox 360. That's where the Gears of War series really started to pick up steam. It wasn't exclusive to the Xbox 360. They made five games in the series. I don't think all five games were made by Epic Games. I know the first three were made by Epic Games anyway. And those games are some of the most beloved games of all time a lot of people know what the gears of war series is and it's a very successful franchise and a lot of people love that series now if you fast forward to uh, around late 2017 there are also epic games is also known for a very successful game as well i'm talking about fortnite specifically fortnite battle royale when it comes to those uh, battle royale games epic games decided to make one as well and it's doing very good today if you fast forward to 2018 and a lot of people are playing these battle royale games sure it may be a rip off to pubg but a lot of people like this Fortnite game. The graphics are cartoony, but it fits the game very well. It's free to play, and everything just turns out to be right for this Fortnite Battle Royale game, and a lot of people are gravitating to this game, and I know everyone in their mom's playing this Fortnite Battle Royale mode for Fortnite, so you can see Epic Games has made some very good games at their studio when it comes to game development. Now let's fast forward to around 2017, early 2018. Let's go ahead and talk about Boss Key Productions. Now Boss Key Productions, as far as I'm aware, only made two games at their studio. I could be wrong about this, but at least from what I've known from the last couple of years, they only made two games. Fast forward to late 2017, they made one of one of the worst games of all time. They made this game called Lawbreakers. And if you don't know anything about Lawbreakers, Lawbreakers is a ripoff of Team Fortress 2 and also Overwatch. At the time, Overwatch was very successful and Boss Key Productions was like, hmm, how can we make a successful game? But we're too lazy to make a game of our own. So let's try to rip off another game. Let's rip off Overwatch. Overwatch is doing very well. So let's make a game just like Overwatch. But nobody bought the bait and nobody actually ended up buying Lawbreakers. There was few people playing that game. I know at one time the game got so bad that there was only five players. Yes, I'm not kidding you guys. Five players playing Lawbreakers at one time. It was a disaster and pretty much they had to end development for that game and they pretty much had to abandon that game at all costs. It looks like this Boss Key Productions team likes, likes taking these very successful types of games and ripping them off and, and making their own spin on them but they really don't work considering how popular Overwatch is and everyone's already playing Overwatch. Why do you think they would want to move over to a game uh, like Lawbreakers when it doesn't really have anything to offer when it's also an arena based style game but it really doesn't feel too different or it kind of just doesn't really feel unique enough to where people want to play compared to Overwatch. I'm not saying if you're a game developer you can make a game that's like another game and be very successful. If you look at PUBG, Fortnite Battle Royale is a copycat of PUBG and also H1Z1. I know a lot of people don't talk about H1Z1 but PUBG is pretty much a ripoff of H1Z1 and then Fortnite is pretty much a ripoff of all of those ideas but you can see you can make a game similar to another game and be very successful it just somehow happens that this boss key productions uh, team really doesn't know how to make games that are uh, copycats of other games that are very good now let's fast forward to uh, 2018 let's fast forward to today and what is boss, boss key productions actually up to well it looks like they're up to ripping off another big trend in the gaming industry right now as you know in 2018 the big trend still is those battle royale games like PUBG and Fortnite and a lot of people are playing those games like I said everyone in their mom's playing their, those games so Boss Key Productions like well Lawbreakers failed it was a copycat of Overwatch and that didn't do well so let's try to rip off another uh, series of games that are doing extremely well in 2018 and they're all the rage nowadays let's copy the Fortnites, let's copy the PUBGs and let's see if we can make our own spin on the games. Well, right now they are, they do actually have a game on Steam. It's actually in early access and I think it just came out yesterday or it came out today and you can play this game. This game is called uh, 
Radical Heights. It's a game by Boss Key Productions. And honestly, I'm going to give you some thoughts of this game. There is actually gameplay out on this game. Take a look at the gameplay from Boss Key Productions. Honestly, when I look at this game, it makes me want to cringe just because it is kind of like Fortnite. They went with the whole cartoony aspect because they know Fortnite is actually doing it better than PUBG right now. PUBG is actually sinking lower and lower and lower and Fortnite is rising higher and higher and higher. So it only makes sense if they're going to rip off one of these Battle Royale games. They want to rip off Fortnite. So let's make our game cartoony as well. Well, it looks like this game is unfinished. It looks like there's a lot of problems with this game. One problem I have found with a lot of people complaining about this game is when it comes to customization. I know customization is not a new thing when it comes to video games. It looks like you can't customize your gender in this game, which is absolutely ridiculous. So they said that you can't customize your character in the game in uh, Radical Heights to be a girl. And they said sometime in the near future, you'll be able to customize your, your uh, avatar in the game to be a girl sometime in the near future. We don't know when that's coming, but they have confirmed from Boss Key Productions that that's going to be coming sometime in the near future. But that's silly that that's kind of like a staple in video games. Not really too, too much of a big deal, honestly. But like I said, when you watch this trailer and the footage that you're seeing from me is uh, Radical Heights, you can see how bad this game is. This is a very bad game. It looks kind of like somebody who really didn't know how to make games made a game. This is like their first introduction to coding a video game and this is what they're throwing out just for a quick product. Honestly, if you were to ask me, this kind of feels like this is a rushed game or it's an indie game. It just doesn't feel like a modern game. The nice thing about this game is it is a free to play game like Fortnite, so it doesn't cost you anything to try this game out. If you have a good enough PC and you have Steam installed, why not give this game a try? There's nothing to lose for this game. You're not paying money for this game. And even if you were going to pay money for this game, the good thing is Steam has a, a, a refund policy. If you play the game less than two, hour, two hours or less, you can get your full refund. So that's very nice. And it's very funny too how this Cliff Blazinski guy that was known, for, known at Epic Games for coming out with these Gears of War games to make a game this bad and Lawbreakers. Lawbreakers, according to Cliff Blazinski, he was talking this game up. He was talking about how uh, Lawbreakers was going to be a billion dollar franchise. A billion dollar franchise. And you see this game is a total disaster. Honestly, not just me, but a lot of people are talking about how you can see this wasn't an original idea from Boss Key Productions, this Radical Heights game. That's a ripoff of PUBG and a ripoff of Fortnite, especially. According to a lot of rumors and a lot of uh, speculations out there, this game only took five months to make. And you know in the gaming industry, something is definitely up if you're only making a game for five months. If you're making a game for five months, you most likely know when their last game, Lawbreakers, failed immediately, they had to get a game out as quick as possible. They did not want to be a bankrupt uh, game developer, and they had to throw something out, and they couldn't think of anything fast enough. So let's just rip off this PUBG, this Fortnite Battle Royale mode, and let's throw one out ourselves. It'll be easy to make just because uh, we already have some foundations and it's not our own idea but I honestly think this is not going to do well for them sure there can be patches to their game there can be update to this game so anything is possible but right now I don't think this game is in a very good state yes I know you have to keep in mind this game is in early access but I still think like a lot of other people out there, I think this game is not good enough even for early access. I think this thing is doomed. It just does not compare especially to Fortnite and especially to PUBG since there's other competitors on the market. And since, Fort and since Fortnite Battle Royale is not letting up any steam anytime soon, I think this thing is doomed. I'm pretty sure a lot of people agree. Cliff Plazinski needs to go somewhere else. I don't think it's time that Boss uh, Key Productions is doing him any justice. I think he needs to go to Epic Games or go somewhere else. Or maybe he's just out of ideas in the gaming industry. And heck, I can't keep saying Cliff Blazinski is to blame for all these games. Yes, Law Blakers could have been his idea. I'm not sure for a factor, but I, do, I don't know for sure if this Radical Heights game is any, has anything to do with Cliff Blazinski. Maybe he was there and helped make the game, but it wasn't his idea to throw this game out into the world. So I don't know. Anyway, guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News signing out.